Hello and welcome to the Linux command line tips and tricks video series. In this video, we will take a look at some tricks and tips for using the dd command in imaging. Please help me out by hitting the subscribe button so I can walk like an Egyptian. The dd command is the granddaddy of imaging commands and is pretty much on every Linux system. Its improved relatives, dc3dd and dcflddd, may not be on the system that you're on. One of the features that DD lacked was the status feedback. If you're running a newer version of DD, which is version 8.24 and newer, that has support for the status bar. And you can use the status equals progress option. But if you find yourself on a system that does not have DC3DD or DCFLDD, or you're using an older version of DD, these tricks and tips may be helpful for you to get the most out of using DD. So to see the version of DD that you're running, you can do DD dash dash version. And since I'm running the Kane distro, uh, it has the version of DD that does has the status progress feature. So I can go ahead and show what that looks like by doing sudo DD if equals slash dev mmc blk zero of equals sd card dot dd and then status equals progress so basically here i am specifying the input file to be my sd card right that's what the mmc blk zero is and then the output file i'm just going to put it into dd file and then i'm going to add the option of status equals progress so here you can see as the DD is running, it actually gives a running tally of what's going on, right? How much, how many bytes have been read, what the megs per second is for the reads and so forth. And then at the very end, it actually tells you how many blocks were read in and written out and total number of bytes, etc. Now let's take a look at how to use DD if it doesn't have the progress status option. First, I'm going to set up a DD process in one window. So I'm going to do sudo DD if equals slash dev sdb, which is just a thumb drive I plugged into the system for this example. And then of equals slash dev slash null. I'm just going to send it to the bit bucket just again for this demo because I don't really care about the output. I'm just showing you the status. And in the second window, let's find out the process ID of the DD process by using the PS command in conjunction with grep to filter out only the DD command. So first thing I'm going to do is PS AUX and then pipe that to grep dash E tick space DD tick. Then I'm going to use the kill command with a special signal named SIGUSR1 to trigger the DD process to cough up a status line. So sudo kill dash SIGUSR1 and then the process ID from the PS that we had just used. And we can do this multiple times. And as you can see, every time I run the kill command, a status will appear in the DD process window. But what if imaging is going to take a while and I don't want to keep typing the kill command? Well, we can use the power of the shell to help us with a loop. First, let's set up a DD process in one window. So I'm going to do sudo sudo dd if equals slash dev u random of equals slash dev slash null. The reason why I am using u random for the input is that I just wanted to keep going because my demo might take a while. And if I use a regular drive, it might actually get done before my slow typing catches up. And once again, we don't care about the output, so send that to dev null. In a separate shell, I'm going to do the while loop. So I'm going to type while colon semicolon do sudo pkill dash sigusr1 tick caret dd dollar tick semicolon sleep 10 semicolon done 
So what this is going to do is that this while statement is going to be infinite loop, right? So because the uh, check for while is always true, and then we're going to do a sudo pkill for the process, right? And the process is going to be basically anything that is just the word dd. That's what the caret and dollar is for, right? The caret is the very beginning of the line, and dollar is the very end of the line. So it looks for processes that's just dd, not something that has the two characters dd contained in it. And then uh, the pkill is going to go ahead and kill that process with the special signal. And then in this loop, we set the sleep for 10 seconds, which means it's going to basically do that pkill with a special signal every 10 seconds. But obviously, you can set it to whatever makes sense to you. And so this will basically go on for a while. And even after the imaging process, the DD process is finished, this while loop is going to keep running by itself. And you'll actually start getting errors because that process, you'll no longer have a DD process. So the pkill will give you an error. So basically, you'll have to hit Control C for the while statement to, to end that. But we can improve on this loop by making it stop when the imaging job is complete instead of the infinite loop. So once again, let's go ahead and set up the DD with sudo DD if equals slash dev sdb of equals slash dev null. And then this time I'm going to do while sudo pkill dash zero of tick caret dd dollar sign tick semicolon do sudo pkill dash sigusr1 tick caret dd dollar tick semicolon sleep 10 semicolon done. So basically I just added the condition for the while loop. And this is a special signal for pkill. The dash zero means as long as this process exists, this while loop is going to hold true. So it's going to go ahead and give us a status. But uh, once the DD process is no longer there, the pkill dash zero will come back false and the loop will exit. The other drawback of DD is that there's no automatic hashing that DCFLDD and DC3DD have. But we can emulate that with the T command. So we're going to type sudo DD if equals slash dev mmc blk0 status equals progress pipe T redirect into open parentheses md5 sum redirect that to slash temp slash imaging dot md5 end parentheses pipe and then dd of equals sr1 dot dd so this command will read the input right the mmc blk0 and then pipe the output into the t command which will split that into two parallel streams the first data stream will be read into the md5 sum command, which will then write its output into slash temp slash imaging dot md5. The second stream will be piped into the second dd command, where it's going to just write the output to the uh, specified file, sr1.dd. Using this construct, we're only reading the input once and getting the hash and the imaging it at the same time. This minimizes the number of times that the evidence is touched, which will minimize any potential for damage. And to verify that the imaging performed properly, we can look at the hash value of the imaging log. So we're just going to go ahead and cat uh, slash temp slash imaging dot md5. And we can go ahead and hash the output image. So we can do md5 sum of sr1.dd. And we see that they match, so we know that we got a good image. And here's some special tips and tricks if you're using a BSD system or on a Mac. The steps to getting a status from DD is pretty much the same in that you'll need to use the PS command to find the process ID and then the kill command with a special signal. The difference is that in BSD and Mac, the signal name is sig info 
or number 29. So let's go ahead and demo this by setting up a DD process in one window. We're going to do sudo DD if equals slash dev slash disk one of equals slash dev slash null. And then in the second window, we'll go ahead and get the process ID by doing ps aux, pipe at the grep dash e tick space dd tick. And then once we get the process ID, we can do sudo kill dash s i g i n f o, and then that process ID. Or if we set this all up again, instead of using the dash s i g i n f o, you can just do kill dash twenty nine, and it does the same thing. And once you do that, you can tell the status bar coming up on the DD process. Another trick you can do is if you select the window that's running the DD process and then hit Control T, it will actually get the status bar. It will tell you about the records in, the records out, the number of bytes transferred, and speed, and so forth. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video where we took a look at some tips and tricks to obtain the status from the DD command. We also looked at how to hash the image while imaging, therefore mimicking the behavior of DC3DD and DCFLDD. Hope you enjoyed it, and if so, click on the thumbs up icon to like this video. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when the next video comes out. Also, please leave me messages in the comment section below so I know what you liked and didn't like, or what you may want to see in future videos. See you next time.